All right, I've got Netscape Navigator open and, oh look, there's a History of Good Nights section on the Good Nights website. Let's check it out. Welcome to the History of Good Nights. Good Nights first premiered in 1994 and are made by Kimberly Clark, makers of pull-ups. They were made as a larger size of pull-ups, mostly designed to aid with bedwetting. Their true origins date back to ancient Mesopotamia, where stone tablets were found predicting the coming of a very pouty diaper girl who would try all sorts of pull-ups looking for just the right kind. Goodnight has made a number of different renditions and redesigns over the years, so today we're going to be looking at a whole bunch of them. Here we go! Our first trip through the history of Good Nights will be with the original white design. These are all plain white except a little tag on the back. And uh, these were the first product like this out on the market. There were pull-ups and then there were adult diapers and adult pull-ups and stuff. But these were very revolutionary. And they will go through a lot of changes over the years. But this basic design really stays the same. They added a cloth cover and fit form and everything like that. But they essentially retain the same structure to them. This is the first rendition of the Girls' Good Nights. In 2004, they decided to make both a boys' and girls' kind, just like they do with their own brand pull-ups. And so they also advertised the different wetness zones. So for boys, it would be more up front, and girls, it would be in the center. But for most people, you know, it didn't really make much of a difference. But these are also kind of like a pattern printed on the same sort of white diaper, as opposed to the all-around color that the later versions have. This colorful butterfly pattern has been one of my favorites over the years. I really like the simplicity of the white diaper with just the colors and cuteness on top. So while the girls' good nights had princesses and butterflies on them, the boys' good nights had monster trucks and BMX bikes and Spider-Men and all sorts of stuff like that on them. This is one of the early boys' ones that has kind of a sports pattern to it. And again, it's about the same structure as the original Good Nights, just with that kind of nice cloth-ish overlay on them with the cool designs. I wanted to point out I'm wearing underwear in some of these because some of these diapers have been in my archive for a long time and they are all clean, but I just kind of felt more comfortable wearing underwear. But uh, as you can see, as time went on, the uh, Good Nights started to have more color to them, especially around the waistband area. I always really like this design with the BMXs and lingo and stuff. And you can really see here that this is the trim fit redesign. So it just fits a little bit more like regular underwear than the original Good Nights. So you're in for a treat. These are great. They're the Good Nights Sleep Shorts. And they were basically just kind of a fluffy, almost dryer sheet fabric kind of shell with a Good Night on the inside. So it really only had a waistband on the sides but it kind of had almost the same structure of a good night on the inside, but it didn't have the cloth cover that is usually on good nights. Uh, one of the main things that people would do with these is you could either take off all that fluff on the outside and kind of make it like a uh, belted garment, or you could take out the short aspect from the uh, center of it and make it into a little skirt. Good Nights have offered a couple different product lines over the years. The Sleep Shorts and the True Fit Underwear, which are both discontinued, as well as the Bed Mats, which are still selling strong. There's been a number of changes to the regular Good Nights over the years, including in 2001, they added a cloth-like cover, as well as later down the road, added the Trim Fit style. And in 2004, when they made the gender-specific Good Nights, they had a small, medium, and large size, and they just turned that into small, medium, and large, extra large. So there was only two sizes. And now they have the extra small, small, medium, and large, extra large sizes. As you can see, there's been lots of design changes, but there's also been smaller ones like to the elasticity of the sides, as well as the newly introduced double leg gathers. Coming into the 2010s, you found lots of really cool full-color good nights, including these zebra pattern slash Lisa Frank looking ones. So with the large extra large size, they had to find a good middle ground because the 
small, extra small, usually had Disney characters and stuff. And so for the bigger sizes, usually those were for people that didn't really want cartoon characters on their underwear. Much like the pull-ups are kind of a transition out of diapers, good nights are kind of a transition out of pull-ups with a more mature style to them. I haven't collected very many of these small medium size over the years because they just frankly don't fit me very well, but uh, these are kind of a denim designed one and I always thought they would stick with the denim design for the boys because that would be really easy, but these are still kind of pink and have butterflies, but I was never really a big fan of these. I did want to bring up that outside of the US these are called dry nights and there's a lot of crossover with the designs but there are quite a few differences like for example their small size is Tinkerbell whereas we have Elena of Avalar and uh, Little Mermaid in our small medium and extra small size. But outside of a few design differences I understand that they're fundamentally the same. And if you keep an eye out for various generics such as the up and up but from Target You'll find that they are very, very similar to the regular Good Nights, just without the Good Nights branding. This was one of the most colorful designs they did. I love the bright colors and the butterflies and everything. You find a lot of the later ones just stick with the more neutral purples and stuff, but this was just very, very bright and colorful. Out of all the designs, I think this one was my favorite, with the peace signs and the butterflies and everything. The modern designs are really cute too with the cupcakes and stuff, but I really really like the white kind of background as well as all the colors and stuff. So I wanted to film these as part of a visual museum of all these past diapers. You can find certain posts and stuff online with lots of pictures and I do want to thank Prairie on Adisc for some of these photos, but I just wanted to show off some of my collection and I will be doing some other pull-ups as well as some other ABDL diapers from our past in the near future. These are the second to most recent design with the very cute owls and I really like the new design but the color on these owl diapers are super cute and I love the teal on the waistband. So uh, good nights aren't changing in popularity at all. They're so still selling really well. So expect to see all sorts of new designs and sizes and uh, Hopefully people will start making ABDL diapers kind of in this style as well So thank you so much for the trip through uh, diaper museum and I hope you've enjoyed the video Hope everyone's doing well out there and big hugs more stuff soon. Bye <laughs>